It's easy to get in a rut when it comes to dinner time, but what if you could take the same recipes you already know and make them even better? The tips I'll show you in this recipe can make every weeknight dinner better and more delicious. Searing is a really basic cooking skill where you cook food, usually meat or poultry or seafood, at a high temperature until it develops a crust. Think of it like caramelization, except instead of browning sugar, you're browning protein. In our roasted chicken and asparagus with pan sauce recipe, searing the chicken thighs deepens the flavor through the Maillard reaction, which is a chemical reaction that gives browned food that distinctive flavor. To get started, you want to get your pan nice and hot, so I preheated my stainless steel nonstick skillet with a tablespoon of oil over medium-high heat for four minutes. I've seasoned my chicken thighs with a tablespoon of Dijon rub. Now, if your family doesn't like mustard, you can make it your own with any seasoning you like. Put the chicken in the pan and set a timer for four minutes, and then walk away. No shaking, no flipping, no peeking, just walk away. While it's cooking, I'll prep the vegetables. I'm going to use the simple slicer to cut the onion and the mushrooms. I like it because it cuts everything evenly, so it cooks all at the same time. Next, I'll cut the asparagus into bite-sized pieces. Then, I'll cut the tomatoes in half with the closing cut. Now, I'm gonna remove the chicken from the pan and add the mushrooms, the onions, the garlic, and salt to make my pan sauce. Look at these brown bits in the pan. It's called fond. It's what's left in the pan after you sear. But it's not something that you wanna scrub away. It packs a ton of flavor that you just can't buy from a box or a tube or a can. You can only get it from a good sear in a good pan. I'll add these vegetables because they have a lot of moisture that'll cook out and loosen up the fond so it'll be incorporated into the flavor of the dish. Next, I'll add the wine, the lemon juice, and the rest of my rub, which will make up the base of the sauce. We'll reduce it by about half to thicken and intensify the flavor. Now, you don't have to use wine. You can also use chicken stock or veggie stock or just water. Adding the lemon juice helps keep the flavor fresh and bright. It's already smelling amazing in here. Then I'll add the rest of my vegetables and put the chicken right on top. Now I'll put this in the oven and bake it at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. Now, look at how gorgeous this is. This dish is made with very simple ingredients and some fundamental cooking skills like searing and reducing but it proves you can turn any recipe into a special meal to share with your family and friends.